What's up guys? All right, Sendville here. And today we are going to be doing another operator guide for Mira. So we're gonna be talking all about Mira's utility, how to play Mira, what you should be doing during the rounds, how to not play Mira, and how to rank up and excel while playing as Mira. So let's get to it, yeah? So first we're gonna talk Mira's loadout. Mira has a lot of options, but there's really only like one like meta line that you should go for. So here we have the Vector, solid gun, 1X, Decent vertical grip. And you could also have an extended barrel, which kind of looks a little funny. Love the vector. And then you also have a primary pump shotgun. I don't suggest using this because a lot of times when you're are playing mirror, you're going to be behind a shield or sorry, behind your mirror window. And you're going to be popping people from a little bit longer range. And you're going to need a little bit more than just like, a, let's say a pistol sidearm. So let's go down into the secondaries. We have a pistol. Honestly, Forget this pistol even exists. You're running the secondary shotgun, the, the ITA 12S. So what this shotgun is used for is you can use it to kill people if they're like really close range, like in a clutch situation if you need to, but you are going to be in charge of making a lot of rotations as well as lines of sight, especially for your mirror windows. So this shotgun is extremely valuable, not for its killing potential, but more for its utility. You're an architect as Mira. You are building a labyrinth for the attackers to get around and have to clear you out so they can push into sight and plan and win the round. If they can't, then you'll win. And then you have Prox Alarm and Nitro Cell. I'm gonna be honest, I have never seen anyone use a proximity alarm on Mira. Honestly, I didn't even know it was a thing. Use the Nitro. Just trust me to use the Nitro. There are plenty of operators that get the Prox Alarm or barbed wire, or you know, you can bring another gadget like let's say Malusi. Just go with Nitro. Nitro, you're going to be playing more, most of the time as a Mira, playing for the plant denial. And with the Nitro, you will be able to actually stop it. All right, so now we're going to talk about Mira's utility, the mirrors. So, some of them will be used on a reinforced wall like so, and then you'll pop the mirror down like this. So, here, you will be able to see right through the mirror. You go to the other side, you won't be able to destroy it. You can't do anything to the mirror. But, if you run up, you can shoot this and it will pop the mirror and then you'll be able to shoot both ways through the mirror, like so. And then, you know, and it's just a line of sight for attackers as well as the defenders. All right, so now we're gonna take you guys through a couple setups for mirror on different maps. So this is gonna be cafe, top bar hold. So I'll reinforce this wall while making a rotate here. I'll come over here. We're gonna plop a mirror down right here, like so. So key things, this is honestly why this shotgun is super useful because this is very key to most of this setup. Shotgun is great. All right. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this wall entirely. So it'll be very hard for anyone to get into the cigar room and then we're also going to open up these walls well i guess this bar sorry so they can't go for a default plant while someone's behind that mirror we'll be able to see them very easily and this pairs very well with a just like a wall denial like let's say mute or intel denial as well as if anyone tries to hibana or breaches you know that wall from long range if you hibana if you breach it with hibana pellets it will open or an ace it'll, it will open up so pairing that with the mute is great. So now I probably open up this too, just to, for more direct line of sight. So I can see very clearly if they are there and then I get just a quick little slap shot, maybe open up a little bit like so a little bit more. And that would be it. That would be it for the prep. So if they go for a plant, I'll be able to see them very easily. If they, if they ever try to push from CS, Boom, you can just, you know, take them out. 
Mare is extremely good because it's just very hard to challenge a mare because you don't know which way she's gonna swing from in the left or right. Like you have to kind of guess and you have to predict the free fire because when you're Mira, like uh, my gun is on your head and, uh, and I'm pretty far in as I swing. In this position, it's just really hard for them to ever get through the stage and even better yet, like you can do a little bit more like so. Just a little bit more. So you can see a little bit deeper into the stage. So they really can't go in Cigar without having to deal with this Mira. They can, you know, Twitch drone is your worst nightmare. So if they have a Twitch, make sure you're aware that there's a Twitch because all it takes is one little zap. And uh, the Mira is now a two way. And yes, it's going to be a lot more dangerous to peek this because your face is going to get ripped off very quickly. So be careful. So here we have Oregon basement. I'm gonna show you a couple potential holds you can do. So you can place a mirror here to watch the freezer. But it will require someone to play like in this position. I'm gonna show you guys better ones that I personally like to use in like FPL. So I'll reinforce this wall. Pairing this, this site with a cade is extremely good because you can, you know, place the cade on that hatch. And I'll place a mirror here, which will force them to have to go upstairs and take the hatch which requires a lot of teamwork clearing out and a lot of time denial just by placing my mira down it forces them to have to go upstairs and open that hatch and forces a, a push in a very direct way that we want them to kind of focus on and if they don't i mean we have that control very easily and then here is a mira that i love to do low key you always want to put this on the right side because otherwise the angle is too deep And you can play in the closet. What I like about this angle, I, was, I would also make a rotate like so. so. Let's show the entire setup of the shotgun. Make a rotate for the elbow player. You still need an elbow shield. And holds for pillar walk down so you can just see them as they walk down. So here you're able to watch that freezer. What I would do though is uh, clean this up a little bit just so you can like really see it. Yeah, so we can see the pillar, uh, freezer walk down very easily. I can swing over if, you know, just keep my gun up. And if they're ever here, like I can just, you know, keep them out easily. Good position to play as Mira. And it forces them, the attackers, to have to deal with you, nade you out. It basically takes all the attackers' focus directly just to you, letting your other defenders make a lot of plays and if you play around your mirrors fairly well and they run out of time normally you're going to catch a lot of people having to sprint in front of your mirrors and you just kind of you kind of just clean them up so a lot of people make this mistake while playing mira i mean not necessarily themselves but not communicating with their team when they actually plan on place the mirrors so we're on clubhouse right here in the basement and we're reinforcing the walls we're just reinforcing triple the people didn't realize that i was mira so like, I'll have a mirror window here, but obviously uh, I can't do anything. I can see them, but I won't be able to do anything. A quick save to a situation like this is doing this. I don't recommend doing this often because you have to use both your mirrors to do this, but it's better than, you know, wasting one completely. So we are gonna have a, a line of sight that we can use. So they do have to still be afraid of the situations, but just be careful. You don't want to really do this. Normally you're gonna place this mirror Reinforce this wall and place it here. I'm gonna show you guys the line of, line of sight. You're gonna place it crouched because you'll be able to see the oil as well as rotate from there. And then you're gonna make a rotated blue so you can play oil pit very easily behind a mirror. See, you won't be able to do that if you accidentally reinforce all three walls. All right, guys, now we're gonna break down some plays that I made while playing Mira. Mira is an excellent playmaker. You have a fast fiery gun that rips heads apart. You're gonna have a nitro for the plants and I'll we're gonna break down a game of face of pro league. I mean, you're gonna see some of the names on here. We're gonna recognize a few of them. So, all right, let's play through. Turn the volume down a little bit. So guy comes in, takes up my teammate. I miss a little sh couple shots there. So now it is a 1v3. Play on Oregon basement. Plant starts to go down. Throw Nitro over the top. Taking out the planters. So now I know one's elbow and there's one near the pillar. 
So instead of just sitting here, because this guy's going to plant again, I'm not going to have anything to deny the plant this time. I can either A, I have, two, I have a couple options. Wait for this guy to plant and this guy push out. Wait for this guy to plant and I swing out while trying to kill this guy to get to the planter. Or I go to the hallway. And I chose going to the hallway. I'll show you why in a second. Plant starts to go down. And we know there was one still at the elbow. We just heard him shoot, so. Free fire. And make sure to finish it up. So a lot of times you're playing Mira, you are going to be in 1vx situations or your team is just going to basically murder everybody else. So a lot of times when I play Mira, I'm gonna find myself in like 2v4s or 1v3s, etc. But don't be afraid because I mean, you have your three armor, so like you're not gonna be fast, you're not gonna be able to make aggressive plays, but you do have an amazing gun and a nitro. So you have a lot of killing potential still. Here, we're gonna watch this round out. So once on the game's repel, I throw a nitro on the window to take him out. I see a gun sticking out, so I know there's one left at the door. We only have 18 bullets in this mag currently, but this gun rips heads. And it is a 2v2, so what I can do now is either fall back or take an aggressive play and you know most people aren't gonna be oh he's uh he's killed me on a trophy you know he killed me on a trophy door i go for an aggressive play here because i want to catch them off guard i don't want them to have to deal with us and potentially you know kill mozzie and it's a 1v2 and then I, then I lose or let's say i try to run away and someone swings the door because i'm really slow when i when i play a three armor like this and i swing i kill that guy on the trophy door i just swing into the spot that i'm going to swing away from to clear it out to really make sure that no one is going to swing as i run away so I swing in to check that no one's close by. If they are, I'm going to try to deal with them. If they're not, I'm going to swing out a little bit and then swing back. A little bit of artifact on that. We kill the Zof. And instead of, because now we know that it is just an ace left in master, I can either run away while the breach is getting open. He might potentially shoot me through the breach that he made, or I can keep swinging when they don't really have that much intel on me still with my gun up and we take him out obviously this this is not something you will ever do but this is just i mean a lot of mirror plays i've seen kind of like this especially in lower elo this is not low elo but you'll see this quite a bit people trying to be a little creative with the mirrors but uh this is a fail let me explain why this is a fail so the mirror is its soft side is on the most exposed part so you can just shoot that and then it's open you can shoot the mirror out by just shooting this little part of the wall and the mirror will just disintegrate you can just see the person standing behind it because the floor is exposed there's so many problems with this mirror this is why i've been laughing hardcore don't do any of the thing that you are seeing here don't let them see your feet. Do not place a mirror on the soft wall if you can help it, unless you have a, a really a, a idea of what you're doing. Be smart about it, because like, you know, if it's on a soft wall, they, anyone with soft reach can just destroy it. Your, your mirror window is in itself bulletproof, but your surrounding body isn't behind cover. All right, and a clip playing around my my mirror window so i have a mirror in bathroom face in the breach so a lot of times when i'm in a clutch situation like again it's another 2v4 situation i'll swing out in front of my mirrors to try to catch them off guard because they, they're just going to assume that i'm going to be behind my mirrors i like to get a little bit aggressive when i'm in a clutch situation so i don't don't get pre-fired or grenaded from behind but swing out guy has no idea that i was even walking past my mirror so i vault back into bathroom Hoping my teammate. We swing over. We take out one, and they have to they have to stick a plant here, or he has to swing me. So, after you get that final kill, I mean, whether you're behind your mirror or no, you get that kill. Remember that they, they have to plant, or they have to kill you. They have to do one of the two. So, if I swung through that door like, like kind of like a bot then maybe he kills me and they just win the round. I force him to have to either swing and I'll get that audio cue or I force him to have to plant. He goes for the plants. And we barely take it out, but hey, a dub's a dub. One of the biggest things I really want to emphasize really quick is just because you have your mirror windows down, don't feel like you are forced to sit behind your mirrors 
the entire round. Don't be afraid to get a little aggressive if you have to. If you feel the need to rise, that you need to get aggressive because team's dropping and you've got to make a play. You feel like your flank's exposed. Don't feel like you have to sit behind your mirror just because it's there. A lot of times, just a mirror being there will make the attacker second guess themselves because they're not sure if someone's behind it or not, so they're going to stutter step in front of it. So don't be afraid. Mira is a very easy op to start using in Rainbow Six, but she's very hard to master. Knowing all the lines of sight, knowing where to place your mirrors, what's, what's effective, what's not, takes a lot of practice. So when she's not banned, because she's banned quite often because honestly, she's a very impactful operator on certain sites. Like, like I showed you, like the cafe and the organ. Extremely impactful and the attackers are really going to notice her presence. So when you bring her, really think about what type of push are you denying? Always think about that when you're when you're playing mirror. Like, what push am I putting this mirror down to prevent them from? What, like, what? Why do I want this mirror here to prevent that push? How can they counter it? Open up this mirror? Can they open it up with the Havana pellets or an ace? Should I have a mute player? Can they just you know get on a window or pal behind me and just open it directly like that? Think about that while you place your mirrors down and you'll do a lot better as a mirror. So guys, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment and leave a like for more operator guides, videos like this, daily uploads. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Have a good one.